This is a question on using differentiation to find the turning point of a curve and the equation of a normal to a curve. Now they tell us that figure 1 shows the sketch of a curve C. Here's the curve C. And it tells us that C has the following equation. And to x must be between negative pi by 3 and pi by 3. It says find the x coordinate of the turning point of P uh, at the turning point P at of C for which x is bigger than 0 give your answer as a multiple of pi then it says find an equation of the normal to C at the point where x is 0 now just to make this very clear part A and B have got nothing to do with each other now many students get stuck on part A and then leave part B out part B has nothing to do with part A the normal to the curve when x is 0 well, the normal to the curve when x is 0 would look something like that. That's where x is 0. And you want to find the equation of the normal of that curve. Well, you can clear, clearly see, and you can later check, that when x is 0, y is 0. And all you would have to do is differentiate at that point to find the gradient of the tangent, and then use the negative reciprocal to have the gradient of the normal. Now, this here, this point p, well, p is clearly a maximum. So what you're doing to find p is you're working out dy by dx and you're solving dy by dx equals 0 because at a maximum or minimum, the gradient function always equals 0. So part a and b are nothing to do with each other. Just because you got stuck on part a, you should have been able to do part b very straightforwardly. Anyway, let's go ahead and do them. Now, always when doing these, write down your function y is equal to e to the x multiplied by root 3 sine of 3x. Now, this is a product. Here you have a function of x multiplied by another function of x. So we are going to use the product rule, where this is going to be my u, that's going to be my v. Let us write down that. So always, don't just jump straight in and try and differentiate, you will get confused. Write your u down. u is e to the x multiplied by root 3, and v is sine of 3x. If you differentiate u, you would get root 3 e to the x root 3, and if you differentiate um, sine 3x, you should get 3 cos of 3x. Now let me just take a moment to explain why you do. You should know for the, if you have a function y is equal to e to some function of x, then the differential dy by dx is always you differentiate the exponent f dashed x and you keep e to the f of x as it is. It is not what some students do, something like uh, bring down the f of x e to the f of x take away 1. That is a polynomial. e, the function e to the x or e to the f of x is a very special function. You differentiate the exponent and you multiply it by the original function e to the f of x. Hence the differential of x root 3, well root 3 is just a number, so the differential of x times root 3 is just root 3, and then you keep e to the x root 3. Now, why is uh, the differential of sine uh, 3x that? Well, we're using the chain rule. Remember, the chain rule says if you have a function f of g of x, okay, and you try and differentiate it, you differentiate the inner function, g dashed to x, you differentiate the outer function, f dashed, but you work it out, you evaluate it at what it was originally evaluated at, g of x. So in this case here, my inner function is 3x. So dy by dx, the differential of 3x is 3. The differential of sine is cos, but I work it out or I evaluate it at the original uh, expression it was evaluated at, 3x. Hence why I got those. Next step, state what you are doing, okay? dy by dx, state the product rule, because people got that wrong. It's uv dashed plus vu dashed. Okay? And let's substitute into that. 
So uv dash will be that times that. Okay, this times this. Now I'm going to bring the 3 out the front. 3 e to the root uh, x root 3 cos of 3x plus this multiplied by this. So root 3 e to the x root 3 sine of 3x. Okay, so let's keep going with this. Well, what I could do here is I could factorize out the e root 3x. It's a factor of both. So e, sorry, x root 3, and we would have 3 cos 3x plus root 3 sine 3x. Okay, and that there is our differential. Now we want to find, let's look very clearly, the x coordinate of the turning point. Now you need to state for a mark that at a turning point, you know that dy by dx equals 0. So let's continue. We have an expression for dy over dx, is this here. For a mark, let's make that equal 0. So I'm going to move to a new page. dy over dx is that. At a turning point, dy over dx is 0. So we, we are trying to solve 0 is e to the x root 3, 3 cos of 3x plus root 3 sine of 3x. Okay? Now, e to the x, e to the uh, x root 3, or e to the x, any, anything of that form, well, e to the x looks like that. It's never 0. So you can divide both sides of the equation by 0, and 0 divided by e to the x is just 0. So you're solving 0 equals 3 cos of 3x plus root 3 sine of 3x. Now, at this point, uh, various people were confused. There's no need to be confused here. The, there is a cos of 3x and a sine of 3x. Don't use any sort of double angle formula or anything like that. Imagine dividing everything you see by cos of 3x. What will happen? Well, 0 divided by that is 0. 3 cos 3x divided by cos 3x is just 3. And root 3 sine 3x divided by cos 3x, well, that's root 3 tan 3x. And now we have one of the most simplest equations to solve for tan. Rearranging this, subtracting 3 off both sides and dividing by root 3, we are solving the following equation. Now, to get 3x here, you take the inverse tan of negative 3 over root 3. And you type that in your calculator when your calculator is in radians mode. So doing that, the inverse tan of negative 3 over root 3 well it's negative pi by 3 so this is equal to negative pi by 3 now that's 3x so let's draw out our tan graph to see where else a solution might be so our tan graph looks like this Okay, we're solving between negative uh, pi by 3 and pi by 3 here. Now, so let's just extend the page there. That should have said 3x was equal uh, to that. So here's one of the solutions here, and that's negative pi by 3. Where would another one be? Well, another one would clearly be this point here is uh, pi, and going back pi by 3, this would be 2 pi by 3. Now, why are we ignoring this one? Our range is between here. Well, we want to find the x-coordinate of the turning point where x is 0. We want to find the smallest turning point when x is 0. Uh, sorry, when x is bigger than 0. So we care about this one here. So therefore, 3x must be 2 pi by 3. That's the first positive solution. So what's x? If you divide both sides by 3, it would be 2 pi by 9. Okay? And, it's, uh, and, and that is how you do this question here. Okay, next question. Next part. 
we have the following, and we're asked to find the equation of the normal to the curve at x is 0. Well, look at the curve. When x is 0, from the picture, it's pretty clear that y is 0, although we should check that. And if we want to find the equation of the normal to the curve, that is what we're trying to find the equation of. So we're going to differentiate. We're going to find the equation of the tangent to the curve and use that to get, uh, sorry, the gradient of the tangent of the curve. And we're going to get the gradient of the uh, normal to the curve. Now, what was the curve? The curve was y is equal to um, e to the x root 3 sine of 3x. Now, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to, this is very straightforward, e to the 0 sine of 0 which is 0. So when x is 0, y is 0, as we expected from the picture. Now let's uh, work out the um, equation of the tangent to the curve. Well, we have previously worked out that dy by dx, we said from the previous working, dy by dx was this expression here. Or we could even just use this one. So it's 3e to the x root 3. So it's 3e to the x root 3 cos 3x plus root 3 e to the x root 3 sine 3x. Okay? Now, we want to work out the gradient of the tangent when x is 0. So all you're going to do is dy by dx for x is equal to 0. You're going to substitute 0 in here. Well, if you substitute 0 in here, sine of 0 is 0, so that goes... And if you substitute 0 in here, you get 3. So that is the um, gradient of the tangent. So therefore, the gradient of the normal is the negative reciprocal, so it's negative a third. And you're going to use y subtract y1 is mx subtract x1. You're going to use that equation. And we know that x1, y1, point on the, on the curve, well, we've already got that is 0, 0. So y subtract 0 is negative a third x subtract 0, or simplifying, y is negative a third x. And they are very straightforward marks, which you did not need really part A to do at all. You could have also used your calculator to solve this here.